right, hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Gratitude and Alchemy, session two for the day. I don't typically shoot two videos in the same day, but I was uh, you know, feeling compelled, had a lot of stuff kind of on my mind. Um, I had, you know, obviously a really good weekend. I had some time right now um, to come home, spend some time uh, at the house, get a few things done, actually what, by myself, which is kind of crazy, uh, no kids around. And um, you know, Christina and the girls are still at, at her friend's house and, and having um, having some fun and, and so forth. So um, something I wanted to share that that's kind of just been on my mind a lot lately. And you know, I think it's it's interesting that I've been kind of pulled into some of these. Um, like I went to a conference uh, that really, really kind of shook me quite a bit with. Uh, about creating mission, about creating, you know, the value and, and, and how I want my, like my legacy and like my businesses to be in the future and um, kind of what that means in our life today and how we, you know, what are we doing to make an impact? Uh, how, how can we help and serve more, um, help more people, serve more people, um, not just by like doing, you know, running our businesses and, you know, I work at the wedding industry and, and you know, wedding venues and vendors, um, you know, Christina being a hairstylist, not just doing people's hair. You know, we're talking about doing things on a, on a much bigger scale and, and really, really impacting, you know, lives, whether it's building a school uh, in a foreign country or, um, you know, even if it's here and doing something to help, you know, kind of a, awaken and, and help people kind of, a, you know, I don't know, find, find life. You know, I think that there's a huge value in that. It's something that, um, that, that guy's loud <laughs> and, uh, something that, that we, we just really, really has been, it's been pulling us that direction. Um, the other, uh, well, another thing is that, uh, you know, I, I kind of pride myself on living in gratitude and really being grateful for what I have, um, you know, what's to come, you know, that's kind of the alchemy side of this thing. And, and like, I, I really pride myself on being authentic around that and actually being true, true to my word and true to, to, to how I, you know, I run my business and, and the way I, I am with my kids and, and, you know, our family and everything else. Like I really, really pride myself on that. However, when I step step inside and I start to realize how am I being authentic with myself and there's there's areas of uh, that are broken you know to be to be truthful and you know one of them being my health um, you know I'm not in health the way that I should I don't I don't work out right now like at all um, you know I drink soda I energy drinks like I'm just you know constant and I know that that is, you know, horrible and detrimental. And it's so funny because like, if I were to look back, you know, 10 years ago, there was not a chance in the world that I would be doing those things. So what, like, how did I spiral into this? And why am I stuck in this? And like, how can I get myself back out of it? And so, um, you know, one thing that I'm gonna do and one of the things that I'm, I'm saying in this video and I, that I'm grateful I'm doing, and the dog found it, something to chew on. Um, is that I am, I'm gonna make a health change, a drastic health change. Um, I'm gonna do something, uh, you know, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna really, really commit to a healthy diet, healthy lifestyle, all those things, but working out daily, like that's gonna be a big thing. And um, so I'm just kind of saying it here out loud because I've never done anything like this where I've, I've kind of made myself vulnerable and I've shared uh, shared this out loud, um, but the truth is, is that I'm I'm not in the health that I want to be in, or the health that that my family deserves me to be in. Um, so you know, <laughs> now my dog's chasing a cat. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm I'm not in the health that's going to be the best for my children, and um, that needs to change. And so I'm making a commitment that I'm going to change that right now. Uh, the, the last thing is, is that that was kind of just really on my mind that I wanted to talk about and share that I'm, you know, and, and, and in the in the scope of this video being, you know, about gratitude, you know, I'm very grateful for the ability to share this and to say this out loud. And, um, you know, what's what I really, really want to make sure that I kind of come across with is that um, like the word love like, I, I feel like I really, really know the word love. Like, I know love. I know what love is. I know the feeling. I know the, the life. I know all of that. But what's very interesting is that it's not something that I've been known 
um, from maybe from childhood, from whatever. Like I, I haven't been known to express it outside of my family, outside of my family, very much um, for whatever reason. And I don't know if it's um, if it's an ego thing. I don't know if it's um, you know it's not overly manly enough. Um, I don't know what, I, I have no idea. I don't know if it's the inability to get vulnerable and like, does does it mean something if I say those words, uh, you know, kind of out loud and in a setting that isn't involving my children or Christina or, you know, my parents and my siblings, like, but like, how often do you just tell your friends that you love them, you know, without it being some like weird thing because it's like, well, why is a dude telling a dude he loves him? Like nothing stupid like that, but I mean, genuinely, so the other day, a friend on commented on a video, one of these these gratitude knock me videos, and um, she's been a friend of mine since I think like the first or second grade. Um, like, I love this girl dearly, and she just had a baby, ended up with some health complications. The weird thing was, is in the com in, in the comments, she told me some things, and I was like so happy that that everything's okay, um, that it's working out for her, and in the comments, like just completely unconscious, I literally just, I, I put in there that I love you. And what was interesting is, is at first it was completely unconscious. And then what came out of it after that was, I was like, wait a minute, hold on a second. Is somebody gonna misconstrue that? Is somebody gonna, you know, have an opinion about me telling another woman that I love her, even though she's been a friend of mine since the second grade and I will always love that girl, right? Like I will always love her. And and here's the funny thing. It wasn't that I thought like, oh my gosh, like Christina is going to have a problem with it because she understands. She says she, you know, loves her friends and so forth. So she and I are great in, in the sense that we understand that about each other, that how we care for people. But what was interesting was the idea of verbalizing or, you know, on text, you know, through social media or whatever, expressing that there was a part of me that was concerned with what somebody else might perceive that to mean. And that's fucked up. Like that's really shitty that at the end of it, like I, we sort of come back to this idea of like, well, what's somebody going to feel if they see that? Is it going to be misconstrued? And then they're going to think that I'm, you know, whatever, because I told another woman that, <laughs> that you know, that, that like, Hey, I love you. Um, I miss you. And all those things like, is that, that's stupid. It's really dumb that that even crossed my mind. And so that fact that, and I think that's what like really brought it up. The other thing though, is I met a, I, I met a guy from, um, at an event. Hey dog, don't be loud. Uh, at, at a, at a conference just last month, um, named Brian Curtis. So Brian, if you're watching this, you have been inspiring me. And he, like I knew the dude for like two days and we immediately like had a bromance and like we were totally in love with each other It was awesome. And um, he's just a good 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 human being And I swear in the first 24 hours. I met the guy. I heard him use the word love Like a hundred times and like I'm not even exaggerating like I heard him talk about it Then like after the conference a few days go by and like he he has this this uh, photo of him and he's holding up his the palm of his hand and on the palm of his hand there's a heart and his post is about love and um, you know then he's always reading about like you know about these things and he, he's expressing love and he's saying and it's it just it, it's weird because I have never felt comfortable saying some of those things out loud and the dumbest part of it is it's because of the potential perception that somebody might misunderstand what I mean, misunderstand who I'm saying it to. Um, and I don't know if that's that's happened to me at some point and that's why I kind of had that thought, but um, the truth of the matter is, is that's a really, really stupid way to make decisions and live. And it's a stupid, you know, thing to not express because of, a, you know, a concern that somebody else might think, feel, misunderstand, whatever. And so, from this moment forward, I want to make a commitment to myself, to the people who watch my videos, to uh, anybody who I do business with, uh, you know, my friends, my family, everybody, that I will not give a shit what somebody else's opinion may be 
And it's funny because I feel like I have always felt that way, but really deep down, we all care what other people think. Now it's just a matter of like, we're wired that way. It's in our DNA. However, I have to come to the understanding that like, it's none of my damn business what somebody else's opinion is. That's their opinion. And so I want to spend more of my time doing a few things, loving myself and my health, taking care of my health, getting that in line, getting that in, geez, loving this dog if you'd ever be quiet, um, taking care of that, um, love my family, doing all that stuff. I, I want to give more. We want to share more. We want to do more for more people. Um, that's going to be our big mission. You're probably going to see Christina talking a lot about that and what we, what we're going to be doing together. And then I want to actually like, you know, I, I mentioned this in, a, in, in one of the, the gratitude videos is that, you know, getting loud about gratitude. Well, I think the same thing goes for love and that word. And, um, so like my commitment is that there's gonna be, <laughs> He's literally can't pick up what he's trying to, and it's so loud when he's dragging it. Oh, he got it, okay. Is it make a commitment to making that word not taboo, not being concerned with how somebody might misunderstand what I'm talking about or anything else. So those that's what's on my mind. I, I'm really grateful for the ability to share that and get that out, and um, that's it. And I'm gonna move forward in this head space, in this heart space, and um, I appreciate anybody who's watching this. So um, share with me anything you feel like sharing, um, and just remember to be fucking grateful. Thanks, guys.